You probably already know that the GeoMap widget is supported for quite a long time already, but if you don't do any additional configuration, you are tied to the OpenStreetMap, which is pretty fine by default, right? But uh, let's be real, if we talk about the most details on the map, and also if we talk about a functionality like having the view from the satellite, or just including the roads or whatever, the Google map probably is better. So this is the topic for the video where I'm going to show you how just with a quick and easy steps you can make your Google Maps as the main map in your GeoMap widget. And also I wanted to tell you that you might be surprised, but more than 90% of watchers are not subscribed to this channel. So if you're watching this video and you like the content about Azabix and monitoring, then go ahead and click the subscribe button. And right now let's go back to the Zabbix installation. Uh, so for my example here, I have a Zabbix 7.0, but as I said, uh, the GeoMap widget is supported since I think 6.2 or maybe, no, I guess it was since 6.0. And uh, I have it up and running from the Docker containers. Uh, here you can see Docker PS and uh, it's nothing special, like it uh, doesn't matter what kind of instance you actually have, um, but uh, yeah, like uh, here we have the front end and we also have a GeoMap widget, which is OpenStreetMap, as I was telling previously. And the only thing that you need to do to make it work with the Google Maps is, first of all, you have to be the super admin in the Zabbix front end because the configuration part is under administration, general and geographical maps. Here you can choose from uh, the ones that are available by default, which is the OpenStreetMap, uh, Mapnik, OpenTopo Map, a bunch of other ones. I'm actually not so familiar with the maps, but if you want to configure the Google one, you need to click other. And then the main question, like what kind of title or attribution text or max zoom level do I provide and what does that exactly means? And for that, again, we will be using the wiki page from the initmax who have this uh, tutorial. And I will also link the page uh, into description just so that you can do the pretty copy paste and not write down from the screen. But basically, we just need to copy paste this line uh, and uh, put it here in the title URL. And now let's talk about like what actually each of these parameters mean. As example, the L Y R S, which basically is the layers equals M means standard map, standard map that you see in, uh, well, let's say maps, google.com. Uh, it looks like this, right? That's what we used to. And if you put as example equals S, and we'll try to do that a bit later, it will show as a satellite. And as a satellite, I mean, like, uh, is this a satellite? So it would look like this. And uh, what kind of other options we have, we can have a hybrid terrain only. And of course, you can play around with all of these settings, then attribute text, just put map data from the Google, but uh, I think you can put whatever you want here and it will just appear in the bottom of your widget as we have it. Uh, uh, let me show you as we have it here in the dashboard right now, the open street map, map uh, contributors. Uh, what else? We missed a couple of things. Uh, the first one is there they are. So the X and Y parameters are used to define the coordinates, which makes sense for the GeoMap widget, right? And I'm going to also show you some some tip how you can use them from the host. And the Z is the default zoom level, which we later define here as uh, no, sorry, this is the maximal zoom level, but the default one will be set on the widget itself. So yeah, and these would be these. And another thing that we can change is the language, like by default, if we copy, the, if we copy paste this, uh, we get an English language. But as example, like here, if you want to change for the check, then you can change it to CS. And accordingly, no matter what is your location, you just choose the correct letters for your um, language, right. And uh, yeah, and that's about it. There's not much more. So we can go back to the Zabbix front end. And I've copy pasted the line. Let's have the regular map with layer M, other map data, Google, max zoom level 18, I will click update, and then just refresh my dashboard. 
and you can see that right away I have a Google map, which also has more known uh, names of location like Rigus Central, Central Tirgus, which is the central uh, market of the Riga. And uh, here we can find the headquarters of the Zabbix. And if, as example, we want to change this as a satellite view, the only thing that we have to do is change letter M to S, click update, and uh, refresh our dashboard again. And there we go, we can have a satellite view and we can find the Zabbix office. Here it is in this building and here is the parking lot. So that's basically it, how you can do that. And uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button, like, and also post the comments because that's very important for the YouTube algorithm to notice this video and push it to more people. And more people will learn about the Zabbix and they will definitely be more happy. So thank you guys for watching and see you later. Goodbye.